Wayne Coyne told us that through his music he wants, quote, to make the room brighter. His belief is tied to that wish. It's a guiding principle he's held for a long time, but it only became clear to him one day sitting in his car. Here is Wayne Coyne with his essay for This I Believe. I believe we have the power to create our own happiness. I believe the real magic in the world is done by humans. And I believe normal life is extraordinary. I was sitting in my car at a stoplight intersection, listening to the radio. I was, I guess, lost in the moment, thinking how happy I was to be inside my nice warm car. You see, it was cold and windy outside, and I thought, life is good. Now, this was a long light, and as I waited, I noticed two people huddled together at the bus stop. And to my eyes, they looked uncomfortable. They looked cold, and they looked poor. Their coats looked like they came from the thrift store. They weren't wearing stuff from the Gap. I knew because I'd been there. And this couple seemed to be doing their best to keep warm. They were huddled together, and I thought to myself, Oh, those poor people in that horrible wind. But then I saw their faces, and... Yes, they were huddling, but they were also laughing. They looked to be sharing a good joke, and suddenly, instead of pitying them, I envied them. I thought, huh, what's so funny? They didn't seem to notice the wind, and they weren't worried about their clothes, and they weren't looking at my car thinking, oh, I wish I had that. And you know how a single moment can feel like an hour? Well, in that moment, I realized I had assumed this couple needed my pity, but they didn't. I assumed things were all bad for them, but they weren't, and I understood we all have the power to make moments of happiness happen. Now, maybe that's easy for me to say. I feel lucky to have fans around the world, a house with a roof, and a wife who puts up with me. But I must say I felt this way even when I was working at Long John Silver's. I worked there for 11 years as a fry cook. And when you work at a place that long, you see teenagers coming in on their first dates, and then they're married, and then they're bringing in their kids. You witness whole sections of people's lives. In the beginning, it seemed like a dead-end job. But, you know, at least I had a job. And, frankly, it was very easy. After two weeks, I knew all I needed to know. And it freed my mind. The job allowed me to dream about what my life could become. The first year I worked there, we got robbed. I lay on the floor. I thought I was going to die. I didn't think I stood a chance. But everything turned out all right. A lot of people look at life as a series of miserable tasks, but after that, I didn't. I believe this is something all of us can do. Try to be happy within the context of the life that we're actually living. Happiness is not a situation to be longed for or a convergence of lucky happenstance. Through the power of our own minds, we can help ourselves. This, I believe. Wayne Coyne with his essay for This I Believe. This is Coin and the Flaming Lips from their album Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. But happiness makes you cry. We welcome everyone to write for our series. Find out more and read all the essays at npr.org. For This I Believe, I'm Jay Allison. That is-
Do 